Hello. Good to see you. All right there, folks. Welcome back to Code Vein and the Road to 100, where today we are in the uh, Crown of Sand, and we are going up against uh, some pretty rough enemies with uh, the roughest of the rough of the rough successors in Eva, in the successor of the throat. Excuse me. And this is going to be a lot of fun because the Queenslayer Hammer, whoops, I have the wrong one here. The Queenslayer Hammer has a, a very, very, very good charge attack. And versus the big brown anteaters here in, in this area, they are kind of the nominal enemy, I guess you could say, in this area. They have uh, the weakness set as follows. They have a slash of 0% resistance, so slash is good, any one-handed sword or whatever. Uh, they have a crush resistance of minus 10%, so you get a 10% increase to your crush damage here, which is great. They have a pierce resist of minus 10%, which is great. Also a 10% increase for um, piercing, which is why we have the GXH Assault here. They have a 0% resist to blood. They have a 30% uh, 30 weakness um, added on to their ice damage. So if you're going for something like Crush or Pierce Ice, uh, you will absolutely wreck these fellas. They have a 20% res res uh, positive resistance to fire, and they have a 40% positive resistance to lightning. So Blood, Ice, Crush, Pierce is uh, kind of the name of the game here, but mainly Ice and Crush or Pierce. So either one of these will be excellent to go for smashing these guys down, and literally with the Queenslayer Hammer, uh, the charge attack for this weapon has a 220% damage modifier. So if we pair that with everything else that we have here listed, uh, we can just kind of run over here and literally smash this guy into the ground. And there's one, and two, and three, and he's dead. So you can completely actually smash these guys, and it's kind of fun. Uh, just that that is an actuality here Okay, and the first one knocks him down and the second one is a is a huge amount of damage and the third is a great uh, kill uh, Ability there and we got a revenant. So how about that? So we'll wait for uh, this fella to come over here and we'll go for a uh, knockdown there and because it has a, uh, a leap forward um, we're able to do Whoops, we're able to do really, really, really good overall damage just because of the fact that you can leap towards the enemy and you don't have to worry about, um, whoops, oh, we got stuck on the box and the backstab animation uh, got screwed up with the camera and that's why we died. So if you're too close to a wall the and you do a backstab it stuns the enemy and it doesn't go into the backstab animation because the camera doesn't have anywhere to go so kind of uh kind of unfortunate there for us and uh, i'd realized it too late uh but as we get back into the swing of things here uh with uh, going against these fellas um we can forego our time crunch there and we can just go for uh right into it here Oops, and uh, because he also has a uh, resistance, whoops, a uh, weakness to uh, slash or a pierce here, uh, if we can get a backstab on this guy, it doesn't look like we're going to. Um, nope, no backstab. So if you can get a backstab on him, uh, it works out very, very well in the end because you are able to completely uh, ruin these guys uh, on backstabs as well. But if you just keep going for charge attacks, uh, you can do very, very, very well versus these fellas. Okay, and again, because you whoops, because you have a a, a leaping attack, um, I just can't get that backstab. Oh, okay, and see, we can go from here, and we can leap over there and crush him down. So very, very cool that that is um, indeed the case there. Okay, and I think we can just go for a launch here. There we go. Great. And the uh, animation there is uh, great to um, get past get past the explodey guy. And we gotta wait for our haze to come back here while so someone joins in. 
But yeah, using the Queen Slayer Hammer, I think the only real viable way to go for it is to, because on the first attack it has a weakness of 90% uh, of, the, of the damage value that's listed on the card, you miss out on a whole lot of damage uh, just going for that. So if you go for um, the charge attack, even though the charge attack is extremely slow, whoops, um, you have have a great opportunity to do really really good damage all the time regardless uh, because you can charge these guys down uh, so fast from from your um, charge attack because of having that 220 percent increase in damage and the leaping strike towards towards the guy um, they go down very very easily and then if you have a second revenant along the way here like this um, you can even get them down even faster because they're going to be doing damage as well. Now we've only gotten one backstab here, so that's uh, really, really bad. And uh, you can see that we don't really need too many other things other than just um, a little bit of our uh, charge ability here. Okay, oh, here comes the ball, and go. And we can kind of miss the balls here and such, and we can uh, go for more charge, charge ice on these guys. Okay, whatever, and we'll just go ahead and charge him down. There we go. And again, very simple, very straightforward, um, but uh, it's definitely, um, definitely better for us than uh, some other things. Okay, and let's go for a charge because that's quick. It's quicker than our actual attacks. And it's quicker than um, all the other things that we have kind of uh, to pair up against here. Whoops, I uh, took that a little too early. There we go. And we'll head over here and dodge immediately as soon as you get in here. Good, we finally got a backstab. And we can increase our I core limit there a little bit. Alright, and we'll go for Hasten. So now we are quick mobility but it doesn't matter across the sand right but uh, maybe we can get a backstab come on just oh where are you going oh there we go we'll go for a smash on that guy okay so not uh, not very successful on backstabs on those guys because they're so skinny um, but, uh, okay, nonetheless, there we go, we'll put him down, and he killed that guy, good. Alright, so as we head over here to the white ant eaters, they're, uh, kind of a uh, different animal altogether, um, and I haven't done any testing on them, but I know that, uh, they're <laughs> very, very strong, and you don't want to fight them in the sand, but, uh, thankfully, we have a, uh, charge booster. Um, that we can go for charge attacks on them in the sand and uh, and still get get a huge amount of damage out on them just because of the fact of the charge attacks and you see here that it, it does not flatten them as easily as uh, previously but uh, it's definitely still um, pretty good flattening potential there and again the most important gift we have here is time crunch as it uh, allows us to, um, as it allows us to get these charge attacks out very, very quickly, and and quick and uh, heavy, heavy, heavy damage overall. And you can see there that even though um, we're taking huge damage, uh, we're still able to put out big damage. Okay, so as we get up to this guy, um, let's go for a launch. Even though we're leaking damage. Or leaking I core here, uh, we should be okay because we can put out uh, these uh, these knockdowns, and the knockdowns are so very important to be able to go against these um, white fellas here because of the um, whoops. Okay, so he killed that thing and it messed up my uh, distance there, but that's okay. Uh, but being able to get the knockdown on the big white guys, the big white ant eaters there is uh, critical to our success because if you can't get the knockdown then uh, they do a whole lot of shenanigans that are absolutely awful. 
All right, so uh, got through there uh, pretty well. And again, uh, we got to an adventuring point, and and now we're going to go against a boss, and we have no Icor available to us, um, but that's okay. And uh, we'll uh, we'll just open the uh, gate here, and we'll be on our way. Okay, very good. Okay, now they're, for some reason, coming after me. I don't know why. But, okay. I guess we'll wait for Ori in the elevator here. Um, now this is going to be absolutely awful here versus the, um, versus the, uh, successor. Do you have enough to drink? Uh, because she, uh, resists crush, jam crush damage, and, uh, that's all we're going for is crush ice, but ice is good here, and so, uh, we're going to be going for ice, and, uh, that'll at least help us a little bit here. Okay, there's one, there's two, and no, no backstab, because, uh, I just can't get backstabs on these fellas. Alright, so at least we have five Icor, um, and, uh, I guess we could go for, um, we could go for a pure blood or something, or some Icor concentrates. But uh, at this point, it's not really worth it because it, as soon as we get in there, we can hit her a bunch, get some Icor back, and then uh, cast our gifts along the way. Now, adrenaline is only along for the ride here, just because it's a, it's an extra 10% in damage. Um, now we don't have to go for hasten either. That is a huge icor re uh, requirement for us, but uh, we could go for something different there. In fact, uh, for this fight, it might be better to go for valiant heart, so we have uh, better dodging. Even though we have normal dodge here, that's still pretty good um, to have normal dodge. But uh, if we go for the fortified version because we need a little bit more resistance. We're not really going to be doing a whole lot of, um, a whole lot of, uh, drain attacks. So let's just go for this first and we'll go for these. Okay. And step boosters are critical here because we need to step, uh, all around the place, uh, by dodging and such. So hopefully Ori, uh, can hold their own. I doubt it because, uh, oh, I can't skip the cutscene. Why? I can't, I can't skip the cutscene. Oh, there we go. That was weird. That was very weird. Okay, so now as we get into the fight here, uh, hopefully we can do a bunch of charge attacks while we're close to her because she does a lot of over our head kind of swings with her arms to the side and such. Uh, so we're able to, um, you know, get around her like this and go for a charge. Oh, we missed. Okay, I guess uh, it's, uh, this is how it's going to be, but uh, since she's, uh, whoops, oh boy, okay, we'll stay close, okay, okay, that's uh, really bad, so we have to be kind of at a distance here, oh, come on, all right, all right, okay, good, all right, good, and we can go for some uh, charge attacks here, all right, we'll go for gift extension, all right, and we'll stay close. Okay, and good. We're far enough away there. Okay, we'll go for stamina. All right. Now these attacks here are very, very uh, tedious. Okay, good. We'll go for time crunch. And we'll back up and go for that charge. There we go. So you see that 3581 is uh, not really, you know, a whole lot of damage there, but uh, just the fact that you have the stagger built in uh, to that uh, because of the knockdown potential. Oh, uh, we didn't stay close, but you can see how long of a fight uh, this is going to be uh, just because of the fact of how uh, her resistance is built and uh it's it's absolutely brutal okay and if we are absolutely going to do it with a 
hammer here, um, we are definitely going to bring in Eo, uh, for sure. And uh, even though, uh, whoops, even though um, that's kind of, you know, whatever against the rules or whatever for this kind of a run, um, we're definitely going to, uh, you know, not take our chances here too much. Now, um, we can switch out our veil if we want to. Uh, for a little more uh, damage resistance here, we can go for um, the GXL Defender Ice version, and uh, that will give us a little more uh, damage resistance while at the same time giving us a uh, really, really good um, uh, slash resistance and crush resistance to her attacks. Now, we do have a severe weakness now to in uh, to leak, not, in not inhibit, but... Um, drink a little water there uh, but uh, that's okay as uh, the extra defenses will definitely come in handy for sure so we'll go for eo and and a revenant if if uh, someone can respond now i don't want to call for someone until we get up the second ladder here because otherwise it locks us out and hopefully we can do this fight uh, fairly well here okay now we can send our distress signal Okay, and we can go for a charge attack here. Good. And you see that it, uh, oh, somebody responded right away. It, uh, it is in our best interest here to get uh, some good attacks off be before the fight begins. Okay, let's go for a charge attack. So we get a little more I-Core there, so starting with 18 is pretty good. Watch your footing. Okay, instead of starting with 14. From Hades. Now, Hades is a very good blood code as it uh, boasts really, really high strength, uh, which is why it makes the Queenslayer hammer here so great because the scaling off of it is uh, really, really high. So we're at an A plus here, and the Queenslayer hammer scales off of strength with a B, so it's not exactly the best scaling. So every um, every level above a B, you get like a three to four percent increase in your damage so that's very very nice because it has uh, such a high where our blood code is so high at an a plus so that's very nice we get about a 12 percent increase in our damage just from our blood code alone because of the scaling value on the on the hammer here now if you have a, an intensified version it goes up to an a so you can scale very very well but you lose the 20 percent of ice damage Okay, and as we wait for someone to join here, we'll listen to Eva's beautiful song. Alright, so now as they join in, we'll go ahead and get at least a few buffs going. Okay, Ori, welcome. Good luck to you. Alright, and we'll go for these at the beginning, uh, so we have uh, some chance here <laughs> don't worry about it Ori uh, she's an absolutely uh, horrible boss here for us to go against with hammers uh, so it's, uh, it's definitely not um, you know something anybody should be seriously doing okay and stay close right because she's doing the spin okay good and now we can go for our charge okay and charge there we go and charge Okay, I think we hit her. We missed her there. Good, we got her another hit. And we'll go for another hit. Oh boy. Oh boy, it's the hands. Oh, she's going after Ori. That's nice. I mean, nice for us. There we go. Oh boy. Going after Ori again. For some reason, he's uh, really going after Ori there. Oh, we missed, uh, we missed Ori. Okay, sorry about that. Now let's go for a charge here. There we go. Now we definitely need to uh, stay kind of at whoops. We missed her there. Hands are coming for me, so we'll uh, do do some dodging here. And you can see the oops. You can see the uh, amount of um, ability there that we have to dodge, but uh, her damage is just off the charts here. So coming after Eo me okay there we go 
Good? Okay, good. Let's go for ice damage and charge. And let's go for a charge attack. Oh boy. Now we're in for it, boys. Okay. Okay. And there we go. Alright, and where is the middle? There we go. Oh, come on, I moved back too far. Oh, no. Alright, you keep dodging, girl. There we go. Okay. Nope. Oh, what is that? Okay, let's heal and then dodge real quick. Oh, you're going for EO? Okay. Okay. Oh boy. I'm gonna explode. Yep. Alright, let's go ahead and heal while she's doing her slow walk. Okay, she's gonna spin. Now we could get in there, but uh, um, that's okay. We'll... Oh no. What is that? Come on. That's such a cheap move. It's just like, oh, you're going to get close to me, I'll explode and kill you. Oh, she's going for Eo again. Alright, let's go for Ice. Eo's getting pounded this time. Okay, where's the blades? No blades. There they are. Okay, and let's see if we can go for a charge here. Whoops, I missed. Okay. Okay, and let's go for some of these attacks here. Now that's a 50% uh, heavy attack. A very nice attack there. There we go. Let's go for more stamina. Because we're in it here. Oh, good. And ice. And gift extension. And a charge. There we go. Okay, and let's go for... Oh, no swallow cutter available. And stay close. And then you can attack in between there. Good. Oh, wow, she flattened us really bad there. Eo, thank you. Oh, no. No. Get up. There we go. Oh, boy. Here she comes. Oh, no. She's going to explode. No, don't kill me. Okay. Um, there they come. Good. And this. Okay. Now we are getting into it here. Oh, she's going to do the hands. Coming after me. Oh my goodness, no. Thanks, Eo. Go ahead and heal there. Okay, now we're leaking, so Eo will get us with Panacea's Essence. That's very nice. No, no, no. Oh. That is such a brutal attack. Okay, thanks, Eo. Go ahead and heal again. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Um, now is the time, girl. Okay. And here comes the blades. Here they come. There we go. Okay, she's staggered, so... Whoops. She should be getting into stagger here uh, soon. There we go. Nope. Alright. And can we charge? Yeah, we can. Oh no. I was out of stamina there. Okay. Let's stay close and go for some attacks. Good. Okay, let's go for stamina. Oh no, 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 no. Eo, please, please, please. I will, I will forever. Oh no, no. No. Oh yes, there we go. No, come on. Oh, we were so close there. Ran out of ran out of button keys uh, to press during each of the animations and such. Oh man, that was such a such a heartbreaking loss right there. Um, You're yeah. Again. Oh well. But uh, you can see that the uh, increase in our defenses there is uh, very very good for sure during each of the attacks against her and uh, even though we have um, regenerative drain going there uh, we could have we could have been doing uh, a couple of drain attacks against her and even though it didn't it wasn't really useful during um, adventuring it's probably going to be more useful versus uh, the successor here simply because we run out of health basically through the entire fight because 
she has such a huge amount of HP that we need to chew through. Um, it's in our, it's in really good interest of ours if we can um, make sure that we kind of don't uh, run out of health. <laughs> but whoops, okay. There we go. And and if we can use, in fact, the veil to our advantage to get health back, because when she's uh, whoops, when she's in the uh, the animation of doing her swirls around and around and around, uh, we're able to um, we're able to get a whole bunch of health back when she's doing that because we'll be very close to her anyways, and you can go for uh, like a, a quick drain and get 10% uh, of your health back if you're completely starved and out of regenerations as we were there. And we were going for, well we had one left, one regeneration, but uh, but the Queen Slayer Hammer is a really really good weapon, not as a general purpose attacking weapon, because like I said that first we uh, weapon strike has a 90% modifier on it, so you're not able to um, get the full damage until your second attack. Which, if you might as well go for two attacks of 190%, you might as well go for a charge attack at 220% overall. And if you can speed up that charge animation, um, it'll it'll help a whole, whole lot. Simply because of the fact that you can get more charge attacks out than quick attacks. Even though the, the charge attack should be slower, when you're paired up with a charge booster and time crunch, you can get many, many of them out quickly and effectively. But it does have that leaping animation, which versus regular enemies is wonderful. But uh, versus somebody like the successor here, where you can jump past them, uh, that's not ideal by any means. Okay, so failed to initiate. Alright, and let's uh, go ahead and get into it here. Okay, and for the beginning set here, we will um, go ahead and just see. I guess it just cancelled it all together because I was in the uh, zone there. I was past the cloud. Okay. There we go. Alright. Ouch. And we're dead. And you can see there, if we... Oh, we're dead. Yeah, like one or two hits and uh, you're dead. And that's with uh, a massive damage resistance on our blood veil there. So very unfortunate indeed. That's why going for um, different things in between the fight there uh, to go for your blood drain is uh, kind of risky because you uh, plant your feet in the ground and there's no way for you to move or cancel that animation at all. And so once you commit to that attack, you are stuck there. And if she's doing the swirl, sometimes she'll move and sometimes she won't. Okay, now if uh, this gets to be too long here, uh, in the interest of time, we will just uh, come in and blaze her down quickly. And uh, hopefully, though, this doesn't go beyond this uh, this fight here. Alright, and let's throw up our signal. Hopefully whoever joins can actually stay. Okay, nice that we can blast that thing. Uh, immediately there. Alright, and this run back is extremely painful. Uh, only only mitigated by um, uh, lightning charge. Okay, off the edge he goes. And he was not playing nice there, not giving me a backstab. So now we are only at 14 Icor, which is enough to get everything kind of up and running here. Once we start hitting her, but uh, in, once we start the fight, it's kind of sad that uh, we can't um, we can't get everything fully saturated as we move into the fight. But it'll it'll be it'll be enough. Okay. Uh, hopefully, uh, this is the last fight with her here. And hammers are excruciatingly painful versus. Um, bosses that uh, defend against them very well and she is no exception here okay so it looks like we are not getting anyone 
that's okay. But we'll go for dodging, because we're going to be dodging our way over to our haze first. So we'll have uh, a lot of uh, stamina not being used when we dodge, as you see there. Okay. Good. And stay close. And then dodge. There we go. Then we'll go for ice now. Okay. Alright, good. And we can go for a whole bunch of things here. Okay, and we can charge her from here. And she's already uh, staggered there a little bit. Good. And we can go for a charge. Yeah, nice. So you can see there that uh, because we have a lot of uh, crush damage, we're able to um, we're able to do really really well in each of the in each of the events there because we can stagger her down. Oh boy, now we're dead. Oh, we found the middle somehow. Okay, and can I stagger her? Okay, good. Ouch, we're dead. Thanks, Eo. Okay, let's heal. And now we got hands. So, oh, it's going after Eo because I think I died. That's why. Okay. Okay, good. Oh, and we're dead. Oh, Eo, thank you. Wow, I can't believe uh, Eo got Eo picked us up there. That's awesome. Now, Swallow Cutter is not for big damage, it's just for the fact that um, we we can do quick damage. Okay, and we'll go for Ice here. Oh, she's gonna explode. Yep. Let's heal. Okay, she's gonna do the... Uh, yep. Let's, oh, come on. I was dodging. Ugh. Let's heal. Alright. Here we go. Okay, good. Okay, nope. Ugh. I just can't uh, dodge out of that fast enough. Okay. Coming after me. Okay. Okay. Go for dodge mechanics here. Good, and let's heal. Because we're gonna get exploded here again. Come on, you. There we go. Go for ice, and let's head on in. And maybe we can get her into a stagger here. Okay. Oh no. Okay, and yay, we did it! <laughs> oh my goodness, so Eo was my co-op partner this time. Not an actual Revenant, but uh, that's okay. We, uh... We got through it. <laughs> it was uh, painful, but uh, definitely the Queen Slayer Hammer is a lot of fun. So, anyways, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you in the next one tomorrow.